everybody, I'm Ari. And I'm Sam. Here you can start off your day by bringing you the latest and delta news. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is Monday, January 23rd. It is National Pie Day. Our lunch for today will be a personal pan pizza or a ham a hamburger or a cheeseburger, popcorn chicken salad, and or a turkey and cheese salad. The sides for today will be spicy fried and mixed vegetables. Jo Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, the Mexican known for his dramatic prison escapes and years of avoiding his prison sentences, has arrived late Thursday in New York after his extradition to the United States. Here is more on the story. This is something that has been in the works for months. The leader of the Sinaloa cartel will now face six separate indictments throughout the U.S. And you know, this is someone the U.S. Department of Justice has called one of the most prolific, dangerous, violent cartel leaders, cartel leaders in the world. Someone known to have moved billions upon billions of dollars worth of drugs across the world, really a global network. And that is why he was known to be one of the most wanted drug lords and so powerful that he actually ran the cartel from the prison famously managed to escape from a maximum security prison in 2015. It took authorities months to recapture him. This is also someone, however, who is seen by some here as a sort of Robin Hood figure, someone who gave people in poor communities opportunities to just put food on the table by taking part in his operation. Now, we don't know for sure who is running that operation now, but we do know that since he has been taken into custody, we have certainly seen a fight over his cartel's territory, a turf war, if you will. By this happening on the final day of the Obama administration, it could be seen by some as Obama getting what he wants, but it could also be seen as the Mexican government removing a possible point of contention with the incoming Trump administration. So what will happen to El Chapo now? Well, he will have his initial hearing in court, likely within the first 24 hours, and then the court process will begin in a U.S federal courtroom. Leila Santiago, CNN, Mexico City. President Trump has already revealed his 2020 campaign slogan. He will use the tagline, Keep America Great, when running for re-election. The slogan for the 2016 election was Make America Great Again. But the new slogan shows that he believes he will improve America in his first term, but will build on it even more if he went to second term. In Scotland, a Victorian story-styled <laughs> house was, has been revealed to be a World War II commando tool. It was built as a school in 1940 in case there was an attack from the Nazis on site. It has two guard rooms just in case one was overpowered. In the school, the school names STS-26 was kept secret until, and locals could not enter until recently. This weekend, hundreds of thousands of women marched into Washington, D.C. and in major cities throughout the U.S. to raise awareness to our new, cover, new incoming gover, uh, government about the importance of the role of women in our country. Many issues were mentioned by famous speakers at the rallies following the march. Now to West with your Belzer Sports Update. Over the weekend, Belzer hosted the wrestling five teams and took third place. While today, seventh and eighth grade girls basketball play West Lane. First at 5.15 and eighth falls at 6.30. And now back to our anchors. Thanks, Wes. After school Project Lead the Way classes still need red, brown, and green bottle caps for a project. 
Please turn in your caps to Miss Miller and B Hall for a treat. Just a reminder to take your Canvas survey if you haven't already. It helps let us know what you would like to do for in incentives. incentives. January is the time to order your book. Here's Ms. Trotter with more information. Good morning, Belzer. I just wanted to remind you, I place our school's yearbook order this month at the end of the month. So if you want to be guaranteed a yearbook, a yearbook that has photos and videos in it, that if you have a smartphone, you can scan a picture and watch video highlights of sports and events and fun things like honor roll celebration parties, if you want that video, or that, sorry, you want the videos, if you want the yearbook, then you need to order this month to be guaranteed a book because I place our order. And then once I place the order, I can't change that number. So when I run out, I run out. So start a payment plan in my room, C110, or bring in your $30, it doesn't matter. Or your parents can order online at yearbookforever.com. But this is the time to do that. Wanted to let you know. Back to our anchors. Our celebrity birthday is Mariska Har Hargitay, who turns 53. She is an actress most famous for her starring role in the TV series Law and Order Special Victims Unit. Our quote of the day is from Bernie Sanders, who once said, Difficult times often bring out the best of people. Good morning, Bruins. Uh, I just want to give a quick reminder that tomorrow uh, is Tuesday, and we will be completing law. Remember, we have transferred from um, sending in those tickets down to the office and having a random drawing to see if you might be able to get um, a reward to a more consistent way of uh, rewarding students who choose to do the right thing and are responsible and get that reading log done. Um, you will receive a hero point from your college prep teacher as well as getting that 12-point assignment put in the grade book. So please remember, get your reading log taken care of today, get it signed, get it filled out, get it turned into your college prep teacher tomorrow. Uh, want to commend uh, both our students and our teachers on the progress we've been making on our hero tracking system. And I'm really excited. I'm actually, uh, Ms. Shelton has been kind of working on leading the charge to come up with an event that um, some students will be able to attend after school as an incentive and also uh, setting up sort of a bookstore or an incentive shop at the end of each month where you can sort of cash in your merit points. So continue to be mindful of those core four expectations, and uh, let's make today a great Monday. Have a good day.